Lawrence Akali, congratulations. Some consolation after a very tough week. You said you wanted to come in here and get the knockout, make a statement. You certainly did that. Talk us through oh, it. That's brilliant. I'm happy. You know, I was in the back room thinking, you know what? I feel really calm, really chilled, having a good time. I'm just going to go out there and try and execute what I do every day in training, you know, and kind of really come out the cage. So I'm happy to, you know, get the win. And um, I haven't I have to watch your back, but from the reaction ringside, it seems like it was good. Did it feel good to let some of those frustrations out? You dropped him twice in the first, finished it in the second round as well, picked your shots well. You look really good in there tonight. Thank you. Do you know, it's, it's just what we've been working on. It's like, I do it every day in training. So it's about taking it from training to the fight, you know. And um, if I'm able to do what I've been doing in training, in, um, my next fight, I'm going to be world champion. So I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. You're still in a great position. You, you took the risk tonight, and I think that though, that speaks volumes of the fighting man you are. Was it always a risk worth taking, though, to be on this platform on the undercard of Anthony, of course? Well, now I can say, yeah, because I've got the victory. You know, he was undefeated, he was in shape, preparing to fight this weekend. So um, it was a risk. He had the world at his feet, but I'm happy to have got the victory. A thousand people making quite a bit of noise in there. How did oh, yeah, you find it, the atmosphere? It felt, it felt like a normal um, day. I think because everyone's spaced out, um, the music's going, it felt good, you know. Um, and I, I'm really excited to watch it all back see the reaction from the people outside. I think that's like, um, you know, I don't know, five on the trot stoppages. So I'm feeling good when they keep the KO run going. You're heading in tonight as what you described as a final eliminator. It looks like 2021, early next year, you're going to be fighting for that world title. When you're confident that you've trusted this process, when you meet Glowacki eventually, it's going to be your time to become world 100%. champion. If anything, it was good to shake out, you know, make the weight, um, put the weight back on, fight. So it'll be good, you know. Um, I've had a good training camp, this one, and we just build off of it, do you know what I mean? Yourself and Shane doing some serious work down in Kent. He's a great trainer. How much do you feel you are learning and adapting under his guidance? Something that's going to be very important when you progress through those levels. Yeah, massively because, you know, uh, uh, as you step up the levels, the fights, you know, they start firing back um, different type of shots. And, you know, uh, so far in my career, I've never had someone hit me. I'm hitting it. We're having a back and forth. So once we get to them type of fights, you know, the little instructions you get in the corner are going are gonna to make all the difference. Do you believe AJ will do the business very shortly? Yeah, 100%. I mean, this is a, a, a young world champion, Olympic champion, who puts his life into the games, I expect him to win. Lawrence, massive congratulations. Thank we look forward so to next year. Well Cheers, done. Man. Thank you. Thank you.